രണ്ടായിരത്തിലധികം വർഷങ്ങൾക്ക് മുമ്പ് ഈ ലോകത്തിലേക്ക് ഇറങ്ങി വന്ന മനുഷ്യ രൂപമെടുത്ത് നമുക്ക് വേണ്ടി ജീവിച്ചു മരിച്ചു അടക്കപ്പെട്ടു മൂന്നാം നാൾ ഉയർത്തെഴുന്നേറ്റു അമിൻ താന് മരണത്തെയും പാതാളത്തെയും ജയിച്ച് ഈ ലോകത്തിൽ നിന്ന് വിട്ടുപോകുന്ന സമയം എൻ്റെ ശിഷ്യന്മാരെ വിളിച്ചു ഇങ്ങനെ അമൻ പറഞ്ഞു ഹാൻ സകല അധികാരവും ഞാൻ നിങ്ങൾക്ക് നൽകുന്നു പ്രൈസലോ അമൻ നിങ്ങൾ ഭൂമിയിലൊക്കെ കടന്നുപോയി എൻ്റെ നാമത്തിൽ ഉപദേശിച്ചു പഠിപ്പിച്ചു അമൻ അവരെ സ്നാനം കഴിപ്പിച്ചു എൻ്റെ ശിഷ്യരാക്കി കൊടുക്കും ഞാനോ ലോക അവസാനത്തോളം എല്ലാ നാളും നിങ്ങളോട് കൂടെ and preach the gospel teach them baptize them and make them disciples and i will be there with you till the end and we all acknowledge that the same god who has promised us he is here today hallelujah and he's rejoicing along with the other angels and the surroundings the whole heavenly beings are rejoicing as as our candidates are taking these steps before the lord and publicly acknowledging it that jesus christ is the lord and uh, we are and they are saying yes to the lord and no to the world and then they are committing their life to the lord the rest of the time the rest of the step that they are taking is with the lord there may be weaknesses there may be tests in their life there may be temptations in their life but our prayer is that they would be completely committed to christ who is the savior who forgives us and he who is the coming king will be our um, taking them to the glorious hope in the life hallelujah so let us completely i mean honor god and honor his word as one by one they step into this water i mean let us all pray together once again father we want to thank you we want to praise you lord for your awesome presence here in this in this place of god in this water of god and your spirit of god who worked on the surface of the water i mean he is here with us in us around us hallelujah and we come in the rest of the time in the service in your care of god one by one of god as they get into this water we pray pray that may them be filled with the power of your spirit of god and let them be anointed and guided by the spirit of god hallelujah you give them the boldness and the peace of mind and courage and you come for them you give them the inner healing that they need oh lord and the miracle happens in their life and the lives of the family and everyone who are witnessing it oh god we give you all the glory all the honor all the praises unto you in jesus name amen amen, amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. We are all happy that he's taken this step before the Lord. And I would like to ask you one second to publicly say a witness of the conviction that you have in the Lord. Aaron, have you received Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior in your life? Yes. And have you heard and studied the word of God, those who believe in Jesus, as to be baptized in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, instituted by Christ, and being a sacrament to the church have you believe in this yes and as jesus is set an example for everyone who watching him hearing him seeing him and walking along with him that he is baptized and he was uh, he was with, he was a witness among other people and he received the power of the holy spirit and as he has set an example as a disciple of jesus christ the rest of your life you be following jesus christ completely committed to the lord and living in your spirit have you you have read this and you do you believe in that christian holy life yes based on your testimony and the conviction and the authority the lord has vested upon me i now baptize you in the name of the father in the name of the son and in the name of the holy spirit Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord, I come to you and bring you into your care, O God. Lord, as you have boldly took this step, O God, and baptized in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, may your blessing be upon him, O God, and together along with the church, O Lord, be blessed and come to him in your safe hand, in Jesus' name. Be faithful till the end, and you will receive the crown of life in your life. Bless you.
Christina Shivu. As we heard from her own mouth and will that she has committed her life to Jesus and she has received Jesus Christ as the Lord and Savior and as a public testimony and a conviction we would like to hear from you Christina that have you received Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior in your life yes. and have you read and studied the Word of God that those who believe in Jesus Christ need to be baptized be united with the Christ as the beginning of a new Christian life in your life and we hear the testimony and also believe that Jesus Christ who lived and died on the cross of Calvary rose again on the third day and he resurrected to heaven and he's a soon coming king he's come to receive those who are faithful till the end do you believe in that word based on your testimony and the conviction and the authority that God has vested upon me I now baptize you in the name of the Father in the name of the Son and in the name of the Holy Spirit Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord, I bless her. And I commit her into your care, O God. Lord, she belongs to you, God. She doesn't belong to this world. She's your child. Hallelujah. Lord, I pray that may your blessing be upon her. Let the Holy Spirit guide her. Keep her safe and protect her, O God. Lord, as the church, along with other saints, O God, we bless her in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Be faithful till the end, and you will receive the crown of glory. Amen. Amen. testimony that he's taking this bold step with his own conviction as he learned God's word. God has put that conviction in his heart to obey him to follow the footsteps of Jesus Christ and he's taking this bold step and coming and before the Lord saying that the rest of his life I'm completely under the will of God. I'm completely following the footsteps of Jesus Christ as we also heard and as a public te testimony as we stand in this water George I would like to ask you that have you received Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior in your life yes. and have you heard and studied and understood clearly that those who believe in Jesus Christ need to be baptized in the name of the Father Son and the Holy Spirit it's the beginning of a new Christian life yes and do you believe that Jesus Christ who lived and died on the cross and rose again on the third day resurrected to heaven and then he I mean, commanded his disciples and also gave them the hope that I'm a soon coming king who is I'm mean, coming going to come very soon to receive those who are faithful till the end do you believe that yes based on the testimony and the conviction in your heart and the authority that God has vested upon me and I now baptize you in the name of the Father, Son and the Holy Spirit. <laughs> Father Lord we come it up Lord that Josh in your care God. Lord we pray that Lord you continue to bless him and take care of him and be with him. Holy Spirit, you guide him, oh God. Hallelujah. Oh, let him be a powerful weapon in your hand, oh God, mightily used by you, God. Learning the word of God and walking in your footsteps, oh God. And thank you that, Lord, you be with him and with his family, oh God. Be faithful till the end, and you will receive the crown of life in your life. Amen, God.
little bit of how she received Jesus Christ in her life and committing her life to follow the footsteps of Jesus Christ. Every challenges and opposition along the way, but she believed that Jesus Christ who has called her into this marvelous life is able to carry her through. That is her strength, hallelujah. And as a public testimony and a witness, may I ask you, Jovia, do you receive, have you received Jesus Christ as your Lord and your Savior in your life? Have you read clearly understood and the conviction that those who receive Jesus Christ need to be baptized in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit and getting into a new life with Jesus Christ? Do you believe and also written the word of God that Jesus Christ who lived and died and resurrected and ascended to heaven is a I mean, soon coming king and he's going to come back to receive those who are faithful to, until the end unto him. Based on your testimony and the conviction and the step and the commitment unto the Lord and also the authority that the Lord has rested upon me, I now baptize you in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, and in the name of the Holy Spirit. We commit her to your care, O oh God. She's precious in your hand, and she belongs to you and her family. Lord, I pray that continue to guide her, continue to lead her, hallelujah, and make her a great blessing, O oh God. As she has recorded, I mean, a history in her spiritual life of that, Lord. As she's committed to you, you guide her path, O oh God. Be faithful till the end, and you will receive the, the crown of life. Amen, God bless you. I have decided. he received Jesus Christ as his Lord and Savior. But as a testimony where we are standing in this water, for a public testimony may I ask you, Larry, have you received Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior in your life? Yes. Have you read and clearly understood and convicted in your heart that, that Jesus has commanded as an instituted to the church that those who believe in Jesus Christ and confess it their mouth need to be baptized in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, getting into the newness in Christ. Yes. And do you, do you believe that Jesus Christ who lived and died on the cross and rose again on the third day, ascended to heaven, and he has promised that as that is a soon coming king. Do you believe that he's going to come back soon and receive those who are faithful unto the Lord till the end? Yes based on your testimony and the conviction and the authority that the Lord has vested upon me, along with the other saints witnessing, I now baptize you in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, and in the name of the Holy Spirit. Dear God, we want to thank you, Lord, for living. Thank you, Lord, for his life that he's committing unto you, God. The rest of his life and the footsteps, of Lord, we belong to you, God. I pray that you continue to guide him, give him the visions that he needs to follow, God. I pray that continue to give him the word I mean, for his daily living, oh God. And I thank you, Lord, for his life. And I bless him, oh God. Be faithful till the end. And you will receive the crown of life. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The
and he's been part of our church and we heard from his testimony from his own mouth that he had this clear conviction in his life that the rest of the time the rest of his life he's committing himself to the Lord who is his Savior and Lord but as a public testimony may I ask you even sir have you received Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior in your life yes do you believe that Jesus Christ has instituted and given to the church that those who believe in Jesus Christ and accepted and confessed him in, it, in their mouth that Jesus Christ is Lord need to be baptized in the name of the Father, Son and the Holy Spirit. Yes. Do you believe that Jesus Christ who lived and died on the cross and resurrected and ascended to heaven and he has promised that I'm the soon coming Messiah and do you believe that he's going to come back soon and to receive all the faithful saints in, in, unto the Lord? Yes. Based on your testimony and the conviction that you have, publicly acknowledging it, I, uh, and, and also with the authority that the Lord has rested upon me, I would like to baptize you in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, and in the name of the Holy Spirit. <laughs> Father, I want to thank you so much for all your love and kindness upon him. And thank you, Lord, for enabling him to take this decision before you, God. Lord, make him a great blessing to his family, his friends, and teachers, and wherever he goes. Lord, I pray that, Lord, make him a, 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 a useful weapon, of God, in the church and in the society, in the community, and wherever he goes. Lord, I pray that may the Holy Spirit continue to guide him, sustain him, and lead him in all the righteous ways of God. And be faithful till the end, and you will receive the crown of life at the end. Amen. God bless you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And we all witnessed how these people have come into their life. And it's a, such a joy in their hearts, even in our hearts, in everyone's heart that God made this a great blessing. Hallelujah. Can you give a glory unto the Lord? Hallelujah. May the name of the Lord be blessed in this place, in this church, even in the coming days. Let many more I may come to this place and be baptized in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. It's not for anyone's glory. It's for the glory of our living God. Hallelujah. And may let the power of God. experiencing the awesome presence of God here in this place of God. Lord, we were able to witness, Lord, and give fathers of baptism to this children of God. Lord, it is all your miracle. It is all your faithfulness. It is all your kindness. It is none of our merit of God. It is all for your glory. Hallelujah. And the rest of the time, Lord, we are going to worship you and honor you with this newly added people in your kingdom. Hallelujah. We pray, O God, again. Anybody who are watching this sacrament over here have ever not accepted Jesus Christ in their Lord. Lord, we ask you sincerely, O oh Lord, you bring a conviction in their lives. And do miracles in their lives. O oh Lord, you bring a freedom in their lives. And let them be delivered from all the clutches of evil, all the dangerous things of sins, leaving behind everything and looking unto Jesus, fixing their eyes on Jesus, who is the author and the finisher of their faith. Lord, I pray that let that miracle happen today, even in the coming days, O oh God. It's all for your glory, oh God. And the rest of the time, we are going to sing unto you. We are going to worship you. We are going to bless your name, we pray that. Can you to lead and guide us, O oh Lord? We give you all the glory, honor, praise unto you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. I request the team to come forward and they're going to lead us in the